back in just a moment. So we have had crews spread all across mm -hmm. central Indiana as we track this winter storm and the conditions that it's causing both on and off the roads. Samantha Johnson headed to Tippecanoe County earlier today to find out how Hoosiers are handling the heavier snowfall. What well, started as a winter wonderland here in downtown Lafayette this morning quickly turned to an ice rink. Conditions deteriorated throughout the morning and it left crews trying to keep up with the snow. It's it's our biggest snow of the season so far when it just keeps coming down. Uh, it, you almost got to start over after you get it finished. Shovels and salt. That was the name of the game as people tried to keep up with the winter weather this morning. It was hours of snow falling in Lafayette. Yeah, I got to double back on things that I did uh, early this morning. And cleaning up this winter weather started early this morning. We caught up with one contractor. His name is Bob Crow. He says he spent hours out on the streets this morning. It's, it's slick out. The more people that come out, it's going to get slicker because people are going to be smashing the snow down on the ground. We also caught up with Brian, who spent his morning doing this. Yeah, I feel so good. It feels so good to see people pass by and say thank you, you know, especially like sometimes there'll be some old ladies and it feels really nice to clear the streets for them. Especially when you come up to the stops, you're going to slide. So you just have to take your time. And these icy and slippery conditions did prove to be dangerous on the interstate this morning. This is a look at just one of the several slide offs we witnessed along I-65 northbound in the Lafayette area. Back here downtown, it wasn't all bad news for folks who were out and about today. Got an email this morning saying class was canceled, so I got lucky, so I had to go get donuts instead. And even for the crews who were out early this morning, snow isn't always a bad thing. Yeah, no, it's exciting. We're very happy. Yeah, we're very happy to see it snow, to have something to do. So it's not all bad news with this winter weather here in Tippecanoe County. In fact, we heard from one mom who says she chose to go on a walk today with her little girl. So enjoy this weather if you can. Please be safe. More updates throughout the day here here on 13 News. All right, Sam, thank you. I could have gone for donuts in a day off. I know, that was so positive. <laughs> I got to adopt that attitude no about kidding. the snow. Well, with more snow falling this weekend, <laughs> the shoveling is not over yet. We know that it can be a pain, but it can also be dangerous if mm -hmm. you're not careful. DPW says it's important to stay hydrated, but avoid heavy meals right before or after shoveling. Also important to remember to take frequent breaks. Don't overdo it. Stop if you feel exhausted and don't try to move large amounts of snow with each pass of the shovel. You got to pace yourself and don't forget you can keep an eye on the forecast this weekend through the live Doppler 13 weather app. Stay weather aware as you head out to any plans with friends or family over the weekend and be sure to check for any new delays or cancellations that might come down. So we'll be watching for those uh, church service uh, cancellations on Sunday morning. It's free download in the App Store. Church might be virtual. Don't try so, to yeah, get out mm -hmm. of it. Dustin. Online church Sunday morning <laughs> in the pajamas. Hey, it's been a big